G'day everybody. Well, you remember on the uh, TV commercials a while ago, they were advertising those Gale Force Cyclonic vacuum cleaners. Well, let's just say one's rocked up at the man cave. And as things go around here, it's not getting out in one piece. We're uh, going to pull it apart and have a look and actually see how well built this thing is. And... Uh, Actually, see whether it really is cyclonic, like as it says there. But, uh, Chun Hua, aka generic Chinese shit, is uh, sort of a giveaway, really, that these things are pretty generic. Um, it said it was imported by Tin Shed Trading Proprietary Limited, whoever the hell they are. Yeah, Chun Hua vacuum cleaner. It's a uh, Basically, it's probably just from a generic line, but um, we'll uh, pull it apart and uh, open it up, get the motor out, and just see how well all of that's really built. But um, yeah, I'm guessing the way it works is that the uh, air intake is through here, and it must uh, this must all be hollow up here. In fact, the thing it is, you can see uh, daylight, so it draws air in through the front here, through the filter. Um, through this uh, what's called a cyclone, it's like what's used on a uh, dust extractor as you can see it basically spins around all of the uh, rubbish that it draws up and apologies about that, bloody camera decided to uh, run out of memory just as I was uh, about to explain that but anyway, this thing's basically the cyclone from a dust extractor you get your uh, rubbish in and uh, it's just a way of filtering out um, the air from the sawdust and whatever else if this thing was a dust extractor, but uh, yeah, that comes out as just a uh, air filter, as you can see, quite grotty, probably not worth keeping, none of that really will be, but yeah, the interesting bit, what I want to find out about is the motor, which is down inside there, so uh, yeah, we'll get this thing up on its um, base and start pulling it apart. Okay, well, we've got the cover off this thing, and uh, there's still nothing that makes this uh, supposed cyclonic vacuum cleaner look very special. As in the motor in it looks just the same as any other um, vacuum cleaner motor. I have a feeling it's probably just made in the fa same factory in China with the uh, all the others. But I have a feeling that's a possible failure. It's a little uh, rubber washer thingy with a spring in it. It's just come out. But there's the rest of it there. I'll try to uh, keep the camera in focus, but I don't know what that would do, whether it's some kind of piston or something on it. I have no idea. But, uh, anyway, I'll um, get the motor out this thing and we can uh, variac that since I've got the variac out. May as well have a bit of fun with that. If it is uh, too badly damaged, might as well blow it up on a mod at some point. Well, out of this supposed cyclonic vacuum cleaner, that's all there is behind it. That's one pretty pathetically small uh, vacuum cleaner motor. It's um, only 1400 watts. Uh, 220, 240 volt, 50 hertz. Made in China. These motors, they're, uh, they're half decent, even though they are cheap and shit and not worth anything. They're, uh, they do put a decent amount of uh, work into making them, which is the... Uh, you sort of hope that for something that's supposed to be going at about 15,000 RPM or what it, whatever it is these things run at. But, uh, yeah, that's marketing for you. They'll make a mile out of an inch, as they always do. And this supposed Gale Force Cyclonic Vacuum Cleaner that was all the rage on the advertising all those years ago. Well, that's all there is behind it. That's the same motor you'll find in probably all other vacuum cleaners on the market today. Excluding Dyson, of course, because they've got something like a turbocharger in them. Love to look for an old Dyson to do an autopsy on, because they've got some really nice uh, motors and things in them. I believe they're also brushless as well, which would uh, be something else kind of interesting to uh, have a go at powering up. But uh, yeah, not much wear in it, as in there's a little bit of wear on the um, commutator, but the brushes are still good. I can still see plenty left in it. This thing obviously hasn't worked very hard for the uh, the amount of time that it's been running. The rather unnecessary little driver circuit. You don't need any of that shit around when you've got a Variac. 
In fact, speaking of the variac, I should get it out and put some power to this. See how it responds. And as a tradition, you know what's going to happen with this. Yep, I never lie. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't think I'm going to be able to untangle that now. Oh well. That's, uh, that's that one sorted. Of course, always do that with those because you do not want that spring hitting you in the face. It will definitely hurt. That's actually quite artistic, that. There's <laughs> funny things you can do with old uh, springs. Anyway, the Variac has graced us with its presence. And we've also got this uh, puny motor wired to it. Let's see what we can do. Noisy little bastard. I haven't had anything like this before. Bearing sounds still alright in it. You can usually hear they make a horrible crunchy noise when they're starting to go. That's a noisy bastard of a thing. Anyway, that's what's inside a generic Chinese, supposedly cyclonic vacuum cleaner. Thanks for watching.